So today is the day when I decided to clean uh, the bathroom a bit because it uh, might look a bit messy. There's a bit of dust and hair on the floor. So this is my plan for today's evening to get the bathroom more or less sorted. Let's have a look from the wide angle. Mm. It looks as it looks. As myself, more or less. Ah! I almost dropped my mobile. So this is the plan. Uh, let's get going. Cut! So, <clears throat> first of all, I'm gonna get rid of all the stuff that I don't need inside, yeah? So Bob, my automatic vacuum cleaner. My small one called him Bob. Uh, we do most of the uh, vacuuming because I, well, we have automatic vacuum cleaner, cleaner so he should do the job, yeah? As you can see, I did hard manual labor to get as much room as possible for my automatic vacuum cleaner that was called Bob by my small one. And I did my best as well to set up camera on Bob so you could get some sort of an action shot from the automatic vacuum cleaner so you could see how automatic vacuum cleaner is working while in action. Unfortunately, camera did not last long because I did not really have any sort of a proper mount for the vacuum cleaner and he knocked the camera off by touching the toilet seat as you will see in a second. But anyways, you did get a bit of an action shot from the automatic vacuum cleaner and actually I've never seen it before. So hopefully, ah, as you can see, the camera is on the ground and I did hear it from the outside. So I picked up the camera as um, soon as I realized that it should be done because Bob just knocked her off. Okay, so Bob did, did the first part, but uh, I will use the wet mode. As you can see, you know, Bob cannot get everywhere. Just let me switch to the other camera. Mm. One second, one second. So, as you can see, Bob simply cannot reach everywhere, especially in the tricky spots. But, what I'm going to do now is, I'm gonna fill Bob's tank with water. And we'll use the fully wet mode as well. Be back. I am not the primary user of this very vacuum cleaner, so I'm not really um, up to date with how and what. But as you can see here, I'm trying just to get the mop um, plate in, but um, then I realized it has to be slide in and then stuck to the velcro. So it did take me a minute or two to set it up. And um, honestly, we do not use the you know, mop option of the vacuum of this automatic vacuum cleaner from a very simple reason. It does um, leave stains. So I think that if you want to get something that would wash your floor as well, probably um, get one of the more modern ones that work with steam, because this one doesn't just drop a bit of water and then uh, slides through it. So Bob is ready, and let's get some more of automatic vacuum cleaner action. I tried to set up the action cam on uh, top of Bob's again and as you can see you're getting a feeling how it is to be an uh, automatic vacuum cleaner, what the vacuum cleaner sees and how I'm um, just the hard manual labor of the vacuum cleaner looks like in real day action. Unfortunately as I don't have any action mounts for my uh, mobile phone it was not out by Bob again um, he just hit it by the radiator, I think, uh, and we are upside down. Um, so I collected the camera and I just let Bob do the job. So Bob, Robo Robo vacuum cleaner, did the job more or less. Um, so it's time for me to do some cleaning action myself. Even though I would much more prefer someone else to do it. Like um, currently I sent Bob to clean uh, my room, so he's cleaning my room and I will deal with the bathroom properly, hopefully, and um, I have to clean the bathroom and especially the bathtub because there's a very special reason for it, but you'll find out about that later on in the video, probably in the, one of the next videos. I decided to mount my uh, mobile phone on one of the dust brushers, dusters, that I use for accessing um, difficult to access areas, you know, on top of the door, 
all the slits and, uh, and corners. So I'm trying to remove as much dust as I can. And of course, I will try to remove as much spider webs and stuff like that in the corners. Additionally, we have this window in the, um, the roof that has a very long uh, corridor channel and it collects lots of dust. So this is where I'm going to use the brush. Um, I thought that this would be maybe the first ever brush camera on the YouTube. I don't know. Probably there are some videos like that. But anyways, I decided to do it so you can have a brief look at some action not only um, uh, from a distance but from the first point of the first um, person view so this is how it looks when you are a brush so I tried to remove as much dust from uh, all the areas before I start wet cleaning of the areas because you know it's much better if you get rid of the dust first and then you'll deal with the leftovers of the dust uh, with your wet clothes and uh, stuff like that. So this is the third person view of me cleaning hard of um, all of the difficult to access areas with my duster. So um, it was not a hard manual labor, but it's, it is quite intensive if you're um, looking to clean all of the areas um, above your head because you have to leave your hands and it is some sort of a um, hard manual labor. So I got out the dust as I said from all of the tricky areas just to make it nice and ready for cleaning all the floor and panels uh, with a wet cloth as I will do later on. Um, this is my corner with all the brushes that I uh, collect rather than use because I'm uh, not uh, maybe let's say I'm not a very good cleaner on a regular basis so I would clean stuff from time to time but not on a regular basis. That's why once every six months I have to do a big cleanup because dust and other dirt collects on my stuff and uh, it looks as here on the video. So anyways, this is what I did and uh, this is just the part one of me cleaning the... It's not a big bathroom, isn't it? But I uh, haven't been cleaning in like six months properly. Or maybe I think that because then finally I will decide to move that uh, press with all the... Uh, flowers and stuff um, in and on it and I decided to move it uh, probably after five years maybe ten years it was uh, clean behind it so anyways I almost got the place ready for for wet cleaning of the floor and I there was a video I think at, at least there should be a video of me cleaning um, the um, washing area you know the sink and the mirror but you can see me here um, cleaning the toilet and behind of the behind of the toilet. So um, just keep watching the video if you find anything that is um, interesting to you or motivating you to clean your place. Just let me know in the comments, and um, I'll be back because me cleaning this um, bathroom is quite important for what actually happened in the bath tube later. Um, that weekend probably, not the same day that weekend. And that might be quite interesting for some of you. So um, I wish you all best and hopefully see you next time.